I should probably clear this first. My name is Adam. I live in Arizona on my own, and I am 23 years old. I don't exactly feel comfortable posting more of that much information here. No offense to the people reading this. I'm just a little bit shooken up about this whole situation. When my old computer finally kicked the bucket, I had a lot of files I wanted to keep for my new computer. Being the lazy that I am, I decided to copy everything instead of sifting through all the files and find the ones I liked. My computer was holding 204 gigabytes at the time, but I only had a USB that only held 200. So I decided to see what was taking up the extra 4 gigabytes. I took the disk, holding the first 200 gigabytes, and put it onto my desk. Then I needed to use the bathroom really badly. I walked into a small room that served as a humble bathroom for one. I had gotten used to the horrible smell in my room. The toilet never worked properly, so after using it, I would always smell something rotten. Honestly, it stopped bothering me after the first few months of smelling it. Then I walked and threw and saw a black trash bag underneath my sink. I took it out and threw it in the trash can. I got back to my room and I thought about the 4 gigabytes folder on my computer. I figured it was some junk that I had downloaded and eventually forgot about, but when I checked the file name, it was titled 05 slash 02 slash 07. Odd. I opened to find a video titled babyshower.avi and a few notepad files of gibberish code. I was baffled of how much space the files were taking up, so I played the video. Big mistake. At first I saw my baby, my sister's baby girl in the bathtub, my stomach wrenched. Her baby went missing and she was presumed to be abducted during a break in a few years back. She was devastated. But with the help that she had gotten over her loss a year later, I wondered who was filming. But my question was uh, was soon answered when I saw her stand up behind the camera. It seemed steady enough, I heard myself say quietly. First I thought I must have forgot about recording this until I grabbed my baby Abigail. I, the recording of the first version lifted Abigail right ahead out of the bathtub and turned and smiled at the camera. Want to see something cool? I snarled. Oh, the recorded parody of me swinging his arm, and Abigail smacked against the bathroom wall. I recoiled my seat, moving my hands to my mouth. Red smear was visible on the bathroom tiling. My past self grinned maliciously, and the action repeated again and again, harder and harder, until the distant cracking noise was heard. My past self again twisted its head around the camera, blood dripping from his hands and other words. That would make my heart sink. Well then, Abby, we best get you to bed. He picked up the trash bag and put the corpse inside it. Well, that was um, Baby Shower, a creepypasta. My final thoughts on the story? Not a bad creepypasta, to be honest. I mean, it actually was pretty dark as hell. You know, I'm honestly not going to lie. This one was actually... A pretty messed up story you know basically the protagonist um killed his well sister's baby or something i mean that is really messed up to be honest if you gotta be be fair because this story honestly involves someone killing a child i mean well i guess it kind of makes sense but like i said i kind of it's kind of messed up to be honest, like, the story honestly didn't go too much into detail, but it's still very messed up. And I'm not gonna lie, I honestly found this one to be disturbing as well, not gonna lie. I actually find the story to have a pretty interesting concept, as well as the good grammar. I mean, the grammar was pretty good, even though the story was short. I still find it to be a pretty good concept, although it's... A little short, yes, but hey, I find the story to be, you know, it was pretty cliched and messed up, but the shocking subject matter just kind of, I don't know, it kind of froze me off guard. Maybe that's just me being nets picking, but I really don't know what to think of it, to be honest, because this story honestly 
has a really messed up, well, storyline and all that. But I still find it to be, you know, it's okay. But, I mean, it's not the best story I've seen, but it definitely could have better. Maybe if the baby was not killed off like that, maybe there was something more to what happened to the child after. But, like I said, it's just... Well, it is is what it is. It's just a story, so can't really, you know, argue or anything. But, like I'm going to say, um, this is just simply my own personal opinion. But before I go on with wrapping up the review, to the author of the story, I can't seem to find out who you are. If you do know who you are and you're the author of the story, uh, comment what it is in the comments below, and I'll be sure to, you know, um, give you proper credit if you happened to be the author of the story. So, yeah, I do apologize if I sound a little sick. Uh, my allergies are really acting bad today, so I do apologize for that. So, and my nose is kind of, well, stuffy as I'm recording this, but yeah. Anyways, um, this is just my own opinion, and if you happen to disagree with me, that's perfectly fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these um, creepypastas. And this is just simply my own personal thoughts. I'm going to give this story a um, 7 out of 10. Maybe not the best story in the world because there was shocking subject matters in it. I mean, not too shocking, but you kind of get what I mean. It honestly doesn't really make it good or something. I think maybe that's just me. Or maybe I'm just being picky or something, but... Yeah, I really don't know, to be honest. That's something I'm going to really state this right now. So, yeah. Anyways, that being said, what did you guys think about the story? Did you all enjoy it? Did you all not? Also, what we have done personally to help make this story a lot better? Feel free to leave me now with your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you're brand new here to this channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, please roll the outro, because I'm out.